Hello folks, here we are again! As you can see, um, the top is pretty much done now. And I already put the neck and the bridge back in. And she's starting to look like a guitar again. And my goodness, you can imagine this. This looks awesome. I mean, I, I don't want to toot my own horn here, but um, for what this is and for my general skill level in modifying guitars, I think this came out pretty, pretty well. So I am quite, quite excited about this. And today we are going to finish things up. And this is probably going to be the most complicated step. First of all, I got to put some copper tape into the pickup sockets and into the, the wire ring socket for more shielding. So let's get into this. This is going to be quite the fiddly stuff, I suspect. Um, I don't always have a lot of patience for fiddly stuff. So let's see how we are going to do this here. Of course, this stands for the cameras in the way. Um, so this thing is wider than the socket. Okay, there's that. Uh, uh, <laughs> I can already see this is going to be an irritating job. I just, I don't know, I don't want to put too much time into measuring out and stuff. I just want to eyeball it. It's kind of weird, you can't, you can't really get the big sheets of copper a foil here in Germany. I mean, I could uh, order it off Amazon, but it would take like two to three weeks to come to get here because it comes from China. And um, but I uh, found this uh, tape. It's five centimeters wide, also off of Amazon, and um, uh, that took just two days to come here. So that's pretty awesome. And it actually says in the description, this is also good for isolating guitar pockets and electronics. So, yeah. So, let's see how this... Uh, I can already tell this is going to be quite a pain. Something around those lines. Somewhere I read you don't actually need to isolate the pockets for humbuckers. But since I'm going to put it in a configuration that I can also do... Uh, coil splitting I kind of do need it I was checking out if I should perhaps rather do parallel wiring instead of coil splitting because parallel I sorry it's really hard for me to pronounce that word parallel um, it sounds very similar to coil splitting oops but with the benefits of still um, reducing noise like a humbucker and so I checked some demos to compare the sounds while they do sound similar I do like the sound of a split coil better because it has more twang more edge to it and that is pretty much what I want okay so how are we going to do the size like this ah uh, okay okay so this is pretty um it tears easily. I did not expect that. Make sure the hole here stays open for the uh, for the wires. Okay, now I just finish up the shielding inside the pickup pockets, and that's what it looks like right now. Hope you can see it all very nicely. Yeah. And I'm hoping I did this well enough. Um, the pros out there might be able to give you some more tips on this. Let's move on to, to the electronics pocket down here. And this grounding cable is getting on my nerves. Okay! Now this is so weirdly shaped. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be a mess. It's just, I'm just gonna have to be brutal and just put it in there. Cut it off and straight in. And I'm noticing I could be better in frame actually. But of course, 
all the stances in here are totally in the way. There's a camera tripod, there's the mic to uh, to lamp, so this is, yeah. Forgive me. Okay, 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 okay. How am I going to do this? Oh my goodness! Hmm. It's actually not too, not too easy to, to work with this stuff because it's uh, really um, it's quite sticky, but it also tears very easily. So you really gotta have some. Yeah. Hmm. And on here we can go a little bit across the edge because the the thing that's gonna go on top still will also get some of the copper stuff on uh, its bottom. So we have really a closed up. Um, copper pocket in here. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but should work. Okay, there we have our first cheat in there. Let's go on over here. Ah, uh, come on. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, let's try to squeeze that in there. Spam. Oh, it's so gonna be ugly. But I don't really care at this point. Okay, so I'm done with the uh, shielding in here. It doesn't look pretty, but I hope it will do the job at least. I already put the input jack in here. So I know where everything goes. And yeah, now we're gonna go to a little bit of soldering. I don't like this. The, those soldering irons are very light, but then the cable is very thick and heavy, so it always just drags it down the table. That's so stupid. So those two lower lugs are going to be jumpered together and go to ground. And then this, this uh, connector right here also goes to ground. Let's start off with that. And this is really fiddly stuff. And my hands uh, easily get shaky, so... You know what, let's first put some um, soldering stuff onto the connectors. I can already tell this is not going to be fun because it's also all very light and with shaky hands. Oh, yeah, things get hot. Gosh, really small fiddly stuff and shaky hands are not, are not a good combination. Difficult. Oh, I, oh, I, I don't have a lot of patience for this kind of fiddly stuff. Really. Uh, oh, thing. Uh, yeah, I'm still a little bit skeptical if I'm doing this right because it's not always 100% clear. Kind of stuff. And try to find tutorial where people actually tell you in detail each tiniest step of this thing. You won't find anything. They just expect that you understand it right off the bat. There are no tutorials for complete newbies. At least I didn't find any. All right, I sort of managed right now to kind of prepare this stuff. I hope this will work in the end. <laughs> uh, so I managed to put this lock to this one and those two to ground. I hope I interpreted the diagram right. And what I noticed, I don't get this. There's this little hook in here. Not sure if you can see that. Not sure if this is focused. But see, here you, you have the, 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 the winding where the screw will come in. This will poke out of the body. And then there's this little hook here that's actually preventing you from putting this through the hole in the body correctly. What the actual heck? Ugh. I don't understand this. What, what's this good for? To put things to ground? Well, why doesn't it say anywhere what's this good for? It, this is so frustrating. You have all these little details about these things, but no explanations. Okay, and then here with the pickup switch, I um, jumpered those two connectors together 
and the other three are represented for position one, position two, and position three. And the pickups will be connected to those. Okay, now we gotta put those two into the guitar and then connect the input jack and then connect the pickups and then we're done. Okay, so I put some stuff in here and I ran into a couple of problems that are really super duper annoying. Uh, first of all, the tone knob is really just for show. Um, this won't be doing anything. But the real problem here is those knobs don't fit on here. Well, the, the diameter is the right one, but the amount of riffles is different than from the original Ibanez ones. Praise two standards without telling you that there are two standards. This is so super duper disappointing and annoying. Oh my goodness. And I was already disappointed that with the uh, electronics, they don't send you any wire sets to wire it all up. No, you have to get all that stuff yourself in electronic shops and whatnot. And those guys don't know what your plan is, what you want to do, and they have no idea. <sighs> this is just awful. And then here with the pickup switch, this looks ugly. So incredibly ugly. This thing is so bulky. And the original one doesn't even fit on there. Here, that's what it looks like. Oh, it's so ugly. So I gotta check if there's something like these, these cone-shaped ones that actually fit on here. And on top of that, uh, the slider here isn't really a complete circle or anything, so there's an open slit that dust can get in. I guess I have only myself to blame because this thing was like five bucks but it has like five stars and people were saying it's really good for for the price so I thought why not the the other three-way switches are like 15 bucks already and they don't seem to be any different Ugh, my goodness this is so painful oh, okay so close Toward finishing, and this is already. Oh my. Okay, so what do we have here? Ground wire, and then the black one goes to um, ground, and the white one will be our hot. Okay, so let's just put the the ground wire on there first. I never get when I open up a new guitar from the back, the wires are super long and wrapped around that you can't actually see anything. And okay, I figured out why the wiring is using so long cables. They actually do all that outside. Stupid me is trying to do it inside and that's a whole lot of a pain. But now I'm pretty much, um, pretty much done. Now I can put on the pickups. I actually wanted to get them with the nickel covers, but it takes eight weeks for them to get here and I am not that patient. I should have asked them way ahead of time. Oh well. Now, Air Norton. Air Norton in the neck, let's start with that one. Now let's put a pickup ring on there. Is there a difference to the pickup rings in height? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, oh, springs tangled together is really, really annoying. Why do they always have to be so tight? This is not user-friendly at all. I'm getting more and more shaky the more I work on this stuff. It's really, I, I don't know, fiddly stuff really puts me on the edge. It's very stressful. Okay, here's the next thing that's very annoying. It says in the instruction, to install the pickup with the wire exit towards the bridge. Well, here's the wire exit. So towards the bridge would mean you install it like this. The yeah, wire exit is towards the bridge. But now the bolts are on the inside. 
and as I remember it, for bridge pickups, they are generally on the outside. What is going on here? So frustrating. This is not user-friendly, people. Okay, it... You know what, I'm just gonna install it with the pickup exit towards the bridge. Because it says so in the instructions. And if it doesn't sound right, then I can just turn it around. Seriously, someone out there is not thinking straight. And I'm already doing the best I can here. Ay 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 ay. So let me check how this is supposed to be wired. <laughs> of course I forgot to jump or some stuff. Okay, so I actually had to take a break right now. And at this point I was at this whole thing for, I don't know, three to four hours. And was getting very tedious and I had to make... Actually I had to make some posts on forums to check about the direction with the pickups. And so far only one replied. It's only been like an hour or so. He said rather stick with the um, with the screws facing outwards. With the knobs, I just took two two knobs from my bass guitar now because honestly I don't care what my bass guitar looks like. Um, and those are fastened with little screws, so those fit on here perfectly. And they also look very nice. I think I think it fits quite well. Okay. But let's get back to wiring. So, also the more I look at the switch, the more I hate it. Um, I, I've, I just gotta see if I'm gonna switch to a different one after all. But for now I wanna hook everything up and see if it actually works. So, in here everything is hooked up. And now... I'm uh, gonna check about the wiring. So this is neck pickup now. The white one goes to goes to the switch. Red and green have to go together, so let's do that real quick. And let's put a little bit of solder on there so it stays. Okay, that means black and bare also go together. Because white is gonna go to the pickup switch, red and green is gonna go to the push pull. Black and bare have go together to ground. Let's see if we can actually get this done here. I'm kind of starting to doubt it. Uh, I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna have to take everything out again because this is a huge pain. All right, the neck pickup is actually in there now. I'm so hoping this will be all right. So hoping because troubleshooting is a lot of pain. So far I'm not seeing anything that could be troublesome. Alrighty and here's the Steve special. Springs don't have to be so long. Why do they make them so long? It's such a, it's not user friendly. Come on people think. You're making such good products but then all the other stuff around it is just pure nonsense. Okay now the Bridge pickup is also in there. Of course, this time with the cable exits towards the bridge, and I took off some stuff. So now, this is the final step. So for this one, black and white have to go together. Okay, black and white have to go together and go to the switch. Then red is gonna go to the pickup switch. I mean, black and white will go to push pull, red will go to pick up switch. So, green and bear have to go together to ground. I'm pretty sure there are some people out there who can't stand to watch me do this the way I do it right now. I sure can't stand to watch myself. <laughs> Let's check this again, see if everything is right. So. Position one, position two, jumpers. Bridge pickup goes there. And position two, position three, jumpers. Neck pickup goes there. Two connectors on the outsides are jumper. And that one goes to the 
a left connector on the on the volume part then the middle connector goes is the hot goes to uh, the output jack it goes to ground everything else goes to ground this is a big bucket of ground here then down there those two also go on the sides to the ground so I am hoping I did everything right now and I'm going to make a really stupid test okay so the pickups are actually working I just put um, my other guitar real close by <laughs> um, to see if I get sound and yes I'm getting sound but um, if it sounds okay and if this is doing what it's supposed to I actually have to restring it first and set it all up and see if it really works the way it's supposed to if not uh, I'm gonna have to do a whole lot of troubleshooting and do all of this again let's hope it doesn't come to that but we'll see and you'll see in the next video if it comes to that or not so I hoped you enjoyed watching me getting extremely irritated in this video uh, yeah, 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 yeah. so in any case, if you like this, then please click that like button and subscribe and leave a comment below and I will see you next time.